In a moment, we will take a look at a example permission block. But first, let's look at the definitions for each of the attributes involved in a Kanger profile permission block. Type. So this is the field permission element uh, defines the level of access. So there's only two levels of access here. A candidate or a dynamic group may have read access, meaning they can see the field and its corresponding value, or they have write access, meaning they can see the field and its corresponding value, and they can also edit the field. They can modify it. Role name. This is who is involved in the permission block. The example here in the candidate profile is candidates or dynamic group. Country. The field permission element must contain at least one country element. This is usually denoted by a two digit ISO code, or we may see an asterisk which denotes all countries. In the examples, we may see such countries as US, DE, UK, or even IN or asterisk. Source. Source element determines the type of candidate who receives the permissions, meaning internal, external, or all sources. Ref ID. Ref ID attribute points to any field and F definition ID that already exists in the profile. So here we are referencing the field ID, which is defined further above in the template. Example, first name or address. Background elements are a little bit different as we must provide the ref ID attribute, but also the data field IDs containing with inside that background element. The ref ID attribute can point to any background element ID that already exists in the candidate profile. We're going to take a look at an example permission block now. So here, the first thing that we can notice is that the field permission is type equals right, meaning that whoever, which role we're given access to here, will be able to write into the fields, meaning they can edit the value. The next is to check the role name. This is who we are giving access to. So we're giving access to candidates. Next, we see the country is denoted with an asterisk, which means all countries. And in the source element, we see internal. So quite simply, we can rephrase this permission block to be, provide internal candidates from all countries right access to the fields, first name, last name, address, and inside work experience, and all of the data field IDs within the background element inside work experience. Below, is a second example. Here again, we see the permission type is right. So to rephrase this permission block, we are giving external candidates from all countries right access to the field first name and the background element outside work experience and all of the data field IDs within that background element called outside work experience. In Admin Center, there's a tool called Manage Templates. This provides a wizard-like user interface to perform various configuration-related actions and minor template modifications without the need to modify the XML templates directly. So this is a, a very intuitive, easy to use user interface where customers can quite quickly uh, modify any of the fields or labels, permissions within the candidate profile template without having to access the XML template. It's extremely important to note that this is a very powerful tool and even minor modifications can have a direct impact on the candidate's experience or even integrations. So changes should only be made by an individual that's familiar with the configuration and has experience in using the Manage Templates tool. There are some exercises which you can, can complete in your own time. Uh, the first one is to edit the Kanger profile template and change a field label. The 
The second is to create a brand new custom field and provide access to external candidates from all countries.